Hi everyone, it's Kevin of Bear Creek Honey. I've got a question for all of you. Um, you know, maybe you have the answer to it because uh, I don't, but I had some something strange happen the other day. I noticed, and uh, you know, this is my uh, this is my honey. This is my honey that I bottle. Um, you know, I take it around and drop it off where I where I sell it, and, and that's great. But uh, I left a couple of these. Uh, in my truck, um, sort of forgot about them. They were in a box, and uh, obviously it's cold out. But uh, I uh, I went and got them, and uh, th this is what they look like now. Hope you can see that. They're white. Um, I got two of them actually. They were side by side. Uh, I, I don't have a clue. Now this is, uh, I, I pulled these out of my truck yesterday and I figured I'd let them thaw and thought maybe they'd turn back into whatever it is they turn back into. Uh, this one is hard as, I mean it's, it's hard as a rock. I, I can't even, I can't even move it. This one is very, I can, I can move it and, and whatnot. I, uh, I've never seen anything like that before. Um, I suppose I could take the, the lid off and uh, and see what uh, huh it's very let's see if you can see that uh, probably oh, there we go it's kind of granular in there see that I don't know what the heck happened to it but this is, I mean, you know, I obviously freeze honey frames all the time. Um, it's very granular. It completely crystallized. That's what, this must have been what happened. I just found that very, very interesting. Um, still good. But uh, I thought maybe you guys would have a better idea of exactly what happened than me. Um, like I said, this one is this one is a hundred percent solid. I can't even budge it. I wouldn't have thought that freezing this um, would crystallize it. This came from the same batch, obviously. Because I, I, uh, I extracted them all at the same time. But uh, I'm going to boil some, boil some, or not boil some, but uh, get some water simmering on the stove and dip this in some warm water and see if, uh, see if that changes them back. Okay, so it's uh, been an hour. And I uh, put each bottle into a uh, into some warm water, uh, and uh, voila! There you go, back to regular honey again. Uh, kind of amazing, a little a little different than that one, but uh, you know, not so bad. Converting it back, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't boil it or anything like that. Just uh, got water simmering and then shut the flame off and stuck these in there for, well, like I said, it took about 40 minutes. But my question to you is, why did that happen? Uh, obviously, this is these bottles are not have not been sitting around for um, a year or anything like that. But they completely crystallize 100%. Uh, one, one, um, very much so was almost hard. And uh, did that occur from uh, maybe a warm day um, in my truck, or did that occur from freezing? Uh, I find that uh, find that hard to believe. But if anybody has the answer for me, um, post it in the comments because uh, I find it uh, interesting as to uh, why the honey crystallized uh, so fast given the fact that you know we freeze or at least we're told to uh, 
put our honey frames in the freezer to uh, uh, I mean, well we, to keep uh, uh, wax mo or you know whatever mice or whatever uh, away from our um, away from the honey uh, while we wait uh, to see either to extract it or to use it maybe next spring. Um, I actually don't see anything wrong with um, with just keeping it in the frames and storing it in the basement for for a while, and then um, and then using it in the spring as you need it. Uh, I guess it is what it is as far as that's concerned. But if you have the if you have the answer, post it in the comments below. Thanks again, and talk to you next time.